How is it going everyone? A very warm welcome to my channel and this is a video series on mobile application development with Flutter and in this particular video we will talk about what are stateless and stateful widgets. Stateless and stateful widgets are the core and building blocks of all the beautiful UI which we can create in Flutter. So it's extremely necessary to understand what is the difference between stateful and stateless widgets. Incidentally, the difference between stateless and stateful widgets are very limited. The stateless widget can be drawn only once onto the screen. In contrast, stateful widget can be drawn multiple times onto the screen, which effectively means that the build function of the stateless widget can be called only once when the class is instantiated or an object is created. While in a stateful widget, the build function can be called multiple times during runtime. And this also means that the contents of the stateless widgets are immutable while the contents of stateful widgets are mutable. So once we know these basic difference between stateless and stateful widgets, let's go ahead and see how we can create a stateless and a stateful widget and under what circumstances we should use one of them. Okay, so let's first create a very simple stateless widget called my app with a bare minimum material design. So what I will do is that I'll create a widget called my app which extends from stateless widget and I'll override the build function. So this is the place where I create my material design. So I'll say return material app. The new keyword is optional now. You can write return new material app or just a material app. So we will go ahead with the later. Okay. In the home of material app, I'll create a scaffold. In the scaffold, I have two things app bar. Let me create an empty app bar and body. In the body, I will create a checkbox, an empty checkbox. So I can create a checkbox by calling checkbox widget. I'll put the initial value as false. False means the checkbox is not ticked and I'm not putting any handler onto it as yet. So that's all I have to do in my basic stateless widget. So basically it is just a skeleton widget which just displays a checkbox, nothing else. And this is the place where I want to show you what is the difference between a stateless and a stateful widget. So let me go ahead and load this app. I'm using the iOS simulator, which you can see on the right side of the screen. Now my app is loaded and you can see a checkbox over here. Okay. So what I want to show you that in a stateless widget, this build function is called only once when the instance of this class is created. To show that, let me create a variable called counter in counter equal to zero. And what I will do is that in this checkbox, I'll add an on change handler. So on change handler gives me a new value. I'll use it later on and in this place, I'll say counter plus plus. So what I'm trying to do is that every time someone clicks this checkbox, I'm incrementing the counter as counter plus plus and let me print the counter in the debug window. So I'll say print counter value is equal to uh, I'll say dollar counter. This is the way to print the value of a variable in Flutter. Okay, so let me go ahead and do a hot reload. And you can see that my app is hot reloaded. And if I just click on here, you can see that the counter value are coming as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So far, so good. That means our widget is responding. Now, in this particular body, I want something else. Like along with checkbox, I also want a text widget. So as you can recall from my earlier video that to create a body with multiple widgets, we need to use a widget which can take multiple widgets and one such widget is column. So let's just get rid of this checkbox. And what I'll do, I'll create a column and the children. In this, I am putting this checkbox. And what I'm trying to do is that I'm creating a text widget and text value is equal to again dollar counter over here and comma. So basically what I did is that my body is having two widgets. Now one is a text widget which displays a text value equal to and counter and this checkbox on clicking which the counter value gets incremented. So let me go ahead and do a hot reload. 
Now you can see the text value is 7 and this checkbox is here. Now see what happens. As soon as I am clicking on this checkbox, the counter value is incremented but the text value here is not incremented. But if I go ahead and do a hot reload, the text value is actually incremented. Same thing will happen again and again no matter how many times I do it. Only with the hot reload, this text value is incremented because the hot reload functionality calls the build function again, which is very similar to what happens in a real world widget. When you call this widget from any other widget at any place in your Flutter application, this build function gets called only once. If you want to redraw this particular widget, you need to instantiate this particular class again. Okay, so that is the limitation with stateless widget. And that's the reason we call the contents of this widget as immutable because once it is being drawn, it doesn't change. So that's the way stateless widget, that's the limitation of stateless widget. Now to reflect the changes in the particular build function, we need to use what we call as stateful widget. So let me convert my stateless widget into a stateful widget. The syntax is a bit different. What I will do is that I'll create a class myApp which extends stateful widget. Now you see that in here I extend from stateless widget and in case of a stateful widget I would need to extend from a stateful widget. But see what will happen that instead of overriding the build function over here we will override a function called create state and in here we will create the instance of class let's say my app implementation okay now where is this my app implementation class is so i'll take this name and change the name of this class as my app implementation which is now extends not from stateless widget but from state template argument as my app that's all okay so what i did I have created a my app widget which is instantiated by other widget or by the main function in this particular case and it is derived from a stateful widget but instead of overriding a build function it creates a state and extends from a state which is taking templated argument as my widget name. Uh, now I have successfully converted my stateless widget into a stateful widget. Now let me just go ahead and close it and reload the app again. I am doing that because I have changed the complete implementation and hot reload functionality will not work well in this particular case. Okay, so now I have the same display again and let me click this. You can see that the counter is incremented but there is no increment in the text value. That is because I need to manually trigger the rebuilding of a particular widget and this manual trigger can be done by calling a function called set state that's all every time set state is being called the underlying widget redraws itself again so let me go ahead and do a hot reload you can see the text value is 6 and if i click over here now you can see the text value changes from 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so now you can understand how you can create a stateless widget as well as a stateful widget and what are the difference between these two in case you are wondering that why clicking is not enabling or disabling the checkbox you can do that uh, by creating a variable called checkbox value let's say it is false by default okay in this particular value instead of having a static value pass the checkbox value and in on changed function just change the checkbox value opposite to whatever the checkbox value which we had earlier so let me go ahead and do a hot reload and now if I click, you can see the checkbox appears and disappears. Okay, and also the counter increments all the time. So that's all about this particular video guys. I hope I was able to explain the stateless and stateful widget in a easiest possible way. If you have any queries, please write it in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks a lot guys. Please take a moment to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks a lot.